Hello from CNN London. I'm Monita Raj. Paul, this is World Report. We begin with breaking news out of London. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has been arrested by British police on a European arrest warrant. He's wanted by authorities in Sweden on suspicion of committing sexual crimes, which he denies. You want to get the very latest now on the story with CNN's Atika Schubert here in London. Atika. What we have to make really clear at this point, Atika, is that Julian Assange has been arrested for crimes that are unrelated to the WikiLeaks scandal that his name is, that his name is synonymous for. That's right. These are completely unrelated to uh, what... Well, interestingly enough, Julian Assange and his lawyers have called, that the, have called these uh, the arrest warrant and the allegations against him uh, in Sweden uh, as part of a smear campaign against him because of all these documents that have been leaked. He does. He, he called it a smear campaign and it's quite clear that... Well, now that uh, the WikiLeaks founder has made uh, arrangements, if something was to happen to him or his website, Brian Todd takes a, a look at the so-called doomsday file and what type of explosive information it could contain. Some call it a doomsday file, a poison pill. A... Iran has ended talks with some of the nations trying to rein in its nuclear ambitions. The parties agreed to hold a fresh round of talks at the end of January in Istanbul. So what else was actually achieved? Let's go to now CNS Matthew Chance reporting to us now from Geneva. Matthew. China has dismissed allegations it helped North Korea start a uranium enrichment program. It also denied encouraging the North to launch an attack on South Korea. China's foreign ministry described the accusations as irresponsible. CNN Stan Grant has been following developments from Beijing. From the deadly landslide in Colombia to major flooding in Australia, both hard-hit countries may see more heavy rain to come. Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera is at the World Weather Center with more on that. Ivan. Yeah, too much rain in those places here, Medina. Ivan, thank you very much for that. Britain's leaders said British troops could start returning from Afghanistan as early as next year. Prime Minister David Cameron made the comments during a surprise visit to Helmand province. Now, when police say it's time to take out the trash, we wonder if they ever imagined a day at the office like this. A teenage driver stole a dump truck in the U.S. state of Ohio and led authorities on a wild chase through three counties. CNN's Gene Moss reports. It was a dump truck run amok. And I'm Monita Rajpal in London, World Sport with Kate Charles.